It's yet again another exciting edition of the Madiba official channel. This is the MOS the Madiba official show. Please, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, kindly do us a favor by clicking on the subscribe button over there. And after please, you are done, you turn on the bell for us. So as soon as we upload a new video, you people will be notified as soon as possible. We really appreciate each and every one of you for wasting your time with data and everything on us we are starting today's show from the camp of the uh, pork pine warriors that is kasante kodoko in recent times one of the department that became a canker for the pork pine warriors had been their striking department apart from last season that they had a certain frank theory a tuga and bella who banged in about 21 goals in the Ghana Premier League a season before that they were lacking in that department even when they had Kwan Boku after the first round he had less than 10 goals after the first round of the Ghana Premier League season before he was offloaded a season before that the likes of William Opoku Mensah and the likes couldn't score double figures for the Porcupine Warriors so this time around after the departure of Frank Thierry Tugan Bella to Al Masri in Egypt. Kotoko went all the way to Uganda to bring in a striker from Uganda, and that was Steven Dese Mokwala. Mokwala came in and he didn't hit the ground running. As a matter of fact, I always apportion Kotoko's elimination from the Champions League to the doorstep of Steven Dese Mokwala. Uh, Mokwala sorry. When Kotoko played against Real Club de Cadiogo, he had a lot of chances that for me, I think he could have scored at least one or two of those chances. He spanned all the chances when God Cup played in Benny in that game. He spanned the chances when God Cup played at the Babaya Sports Stadium. Same uh, sequence of events and sealed at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. So after some time, he has started hitting the ground running, but he has been blowing hot and cold. He scored some three goals before the that the week ten of the Ghana Premier League. But after that, he his goals in the Premier League dried up, and he scored one for the penalty spot. But this time around, in the last game against the Cruyff, he made sure that he will add up to his goal account by scoring two goals against Kotoku Royals, taking his goal tally in the Ghana Premier League to six goals in fourteen matches, and a further. Five assists. That's 11 goals involvement in 14 matches. That's not a bad record for a striker making his debut in the Ghana Premier League. And we are still here to play even the first round of the Ghana Premier League. So it means that if he's to continue like this, it means his goal tally will, <coughs> sorry, will uh, almost go up when the, we read the second round of the Ghana Premier League. So after him, Kotoko had no striker because Samuel Boateng, a coach, who some of us banked our hopes on, couldn't deliver the goods for Kotoko. Now he's out of the team to so our loan at Summer Things. Then there was Thomas Sabo Taylor, who couldn't also score goals. Although the last league game, he came on from the bench to score a goal, but that's as it is. Then Ibrahim Osman, too, who went on loan at Darius, came, came back and got injuries. We are not seeing Ibrahim Osman. So apart from Steven Desa Mokwala, there's no potent striker in the camp of Asante Kotoko. So currently, they brought in a striker from Brazil. That is Matheus Medeiros. And for me, this is the target for Medeiros because he wasn't brought into the team for him to come and sit on the bench. He, came, he was brought in to make sure that you can help reduce the workload on Mokwala. Where he used to play for, he scored 11 goals, sorry, 11 matches that he played and scored 2 goals. 11 matches, 2 goals that he played, uh, he scored for Paju Season FC. That's the lower division in South Korean football. Now in the Ghana Premier League, Kotko will be expected much, much, much more from him. So yesterday that he began his training or training with the group, he has to put that one in his mind that Kotoko don't want nothing but goals from him. He should start by making sure that he's working on his scoring boot. With the last Brazilian that came here and stayed, 
was Fabio Gamma and we all saw the impact that he had on the Pokemon Warriors team. And I don't know whether it's coincidence or whatever, he too was a left-footed player. Matthias Modera too is a left-footed player, but he's a striker. So as a striker, all that we need from him is gold, so that Koko can be able to retain the Ghana Premier League trophy. So dear Matthias Medeiros, know that you are not brought in to come and be comfortable on the bench. We are brought in to make sure that you can be able to compete with Stephen Desem Okwala for the number nine spot. So after you are done doing that, that means that Mokwala will be able to work hard because he knows that the position is up for grabs, thereby creating healthy conditions in the team for Kotoko. And that's what every coach wants, that headache of making that selection because he has two players that are on form at Arsenal. Eddie Nketia was on the bench. When Gabriel Jesus, the Fernando got injured, in came Eddie Nketia and we are seeing the output and the results that he's giving to Arsenal. So Maderos coming here, Ghana is not your home. You came here to do a job. So make sure that you do the job for the cause. So the target should be scoring not less than 10 goals in the Ghana Premier League. Because we play just 14 matches. What it means is that we have 20 matches to go. So on average, every two matches, what we require from the least requirement should be a goal in every two matches. That's the least requirement. We don't want what happened when Michael Vinicius, the other striker that came from Brazil, came to even with him. He scored some two goals in a few matches. It means his output was good, but because of some issues on the field, that's why Michael Vinicius couldn't cut at Kotoko. So, Madero's target for me should be scoring at least 10 goals in the Ghana Premier League and scoring 10 goals, but quite also scoring his chunk of it, Kotoko can be able to retain the league title. So, the striker that came in for Brazil, Yamao Abba Trasse, he traded yesterday with the team and we are expecting much, much more from him because as the Latin goes, cum mutum datum, to whom much is given, much is expected because I'll give him a lot so he has to re uh, reciprocate everything that God could have done for him in 10 fools. Here is where we will bring on the uh, down the curtains for today's show. Thank you. Bye bye.